Um, welcome. So today our theme is going to be playing around a little bit with um, intervals. So we're going to be working on um, doing a slow interval followed by a fast one and then a fast interval followed by a slow one. It'll make sense. Um, but for now we're going to start on our hands and our knees. So in our tabletop position um, with our wrists right under our shoulders, relaxed um, spine, shoulder blades are down your back. And we're just going to start comfortably moving the hips around in a circle. So just warming up the hip joints a little bit. So you can come in a full circle or if a certain spot feels good. You can always just hold there. If it feels good to just sit back, you can stay there for a second. Uh, if you want to warm up the wrists a little bit, you can always flip them back and get, get a nice little forearm stretch by pushing back into the hips. You can always do it to the side or in. There's a bunch of different ways to stretch out the wrists. All right, so when you feel like you've gotten into those hips a little bit, we're going to get into the shoulder girdle. So again, back into that quadruped. And we did this last week, but pressing up into the shoulder blades, dropping the neck. And then without arching the back too much, pull your chest through your hands. So you're back to that neutral spine. And then again, press up into that serratus anterior, into your shoulder blades. And then basically drag your hands back on the mat to feel like you're pulling your chest through your hands. We'll do one more, pressing that spine up and then pulling the chest through. All right, so you're finding that neutral spine here, and then you're gonna lift that left, like not lift it up yet, but it's just gonna be straight out behind you, and you'll warm up that calf a little bit, so rolling back and forth. So warming up the feet fascia as well as the calf, and a little bit into the glute. And then while keeping those hips level, you're gonna lift that left leg straight up. So now, so now that leg is lifted straight up behind you. So this is going to be the beginning of our fast, slow interval. So you're going to bring that leg for three counts out to the side and then back into the middle. So three, two, one, back to the middle. Three, two, one, back to the middle. So that toe is flexed in towards you. You can even put that hand on your low back if you want to make sure that your spine is staying in line. Three, two, one, quick. And last one, three, two, one. So we're switching this time. We're going to go fast out and then three, two, one, and fast out to the side. Three, two, one, fast out to the side. The last one out to the side, slow, back in. You can put that foot down, bring those knees in. We'll go to the other side here. So again, bringing that right foot behind you, rolling up and down on that right, on the right toes. If you have tight calves, this definitely is gonna feel like a good release for you. All right, when you're ready, you're gonna lift up that right leg so toes are up off the mat. Um, same idea here. So we'll do three, two, one, fast in, three, two, one, fast in. So warming up the glutes here. Nice. Three, two, one, last time. So we're going slow on that way out and then fast on the way in. This time we're switching. So fast out and then three, two, one in, fast out to the side, slow back in, fast out to the side, slow back in last time, fast out to the side, slow back in. Nice. You can sit back on your feet and just give your wrists a quick roll. Um, we're going to go into our first interval here. Um, so you'll be doing 30 seconds of that first interval. So three, two, one slow, fast in, and then 30 seconds of the opposite. So fast out, um, three pounds back in, one minute of a cardio exercise, and then repeating that first set again. So your first exercise will be a bird dog. 
So you're again in that quadruped position, the arm, the leg will be, the leg will be extended, arm will be out, and you'll be crunching in and back out. So three, two, one, extend, or crunch in, three, two, one, extend. And then we'll switch to the other side for the second one, your cardio exercise. Uh, everyone hates this one, but it's gonna be a dolphin. So extending up, and you'll just kick opposite legs up and back. So you're not in a plank, you're in a dolphin. If you wanna add a challenge, you can add alternating hops in if you want a little bit of, uh, of air. All right, so we're starting with the bird dogs here. Um, 30 seconds and I'll count it out with you for the first couple so you get what I mean. You can extend that right arm out, left leg out behind you. So we're going in for three, two, one, hold for a second, extend out. So you're really emphasizing the crunching in movement and extending out. Three, two, one, extending out that left hand is planted into the ground, extend out, three, two, one, good. All right, last one, you're gonna go fast in, so hold that crunch for a second, and then slowly extend it back out. Crunch in, and then extend back out, crunch in, slow, extend back out, crunch in, ooh, my right glute is firing up, extend back out, 10 more seconds, crunch in, extend back out, last one, crunch in, all right, we're coming into that dolphin for one minute, so again, you can always just hold in this dolphin, so those hands are out, you can do the opposite leg lifts, or again, you can do jumps if you want to add a little challenge. Make sense? All right, you guys are all doing it. 20 or 40 more seconds here. So again, those shoulders are right above your elbows. You can do opposite foot. We're halfway here, 30 seconds. Core is engaged. Maybe you want to try a couple jumps for the last 10 seconds. Good. Three, two, one. All right. Whew, back into that quadruped. We're going to the other side. So left hand is out, right foot. Three, two, one. Fast out. So we're back to that slow crunch in. Fast extend, extension out. Three, two, one. My glutes are so tired already. Three, two, one. Extend out. Last one. Three, two, one. This time we're going fast in, so hold that crunch. And then slowly extending out. Slow extension out. Fast crunch in. We're gonna have one more minute of that dolphin. Again, you can always just hold that dolphin fast in. All right, three, two, one. Last minute of dolphin here. Again, you can just hold it. You can opposite leg lifts or you can add those jumps. So the hips are up in the air here. The weight is in the shoulders. You can bend those knees as much as you want. You're trying to hinge the body as much as you can over your shoulders. You're definitely gonna feel the shoulders working. Halfway, 30 seconds. Breathing here. Good, final 10 seconds. Good, three, two, one. Whew, I'm tired. 
All right, feel free to grab some water. One round is done. We got, I think, six more. Um, all right, next one will be in our hip bridge. Um, I'm going to use a band. If you have a band, feel free to use it. Um, if you have a block, you can put it between your thighs. You also can do it with nothing. That's fine, too. Um, so we'll be in a hip bridge. I think you all know how to do it, but just as a reminder, feet are beyond those knees, and we'll be doing um, the same kind of lift. So three, two, one, and down, and then the opposite will be lift up and then slow back down. And then our cardio exercise will be plank jacks. So you can either do that on your hands, you can jump out and in, or you can tap. You can also do this on your forearms instead. All right, so starting on your back, we're starting with our hip bridge. Starting in three, two, one. So three, two, one, back down, lifting those hips. You can press the hands against your hip bones if you want a little bit of feedback here. Three, two, one, back down. I have never really let my hips actually touch the ground. I keep them hovered against. So really trying to take it slow on that way up and then a little bit faster on the way down. Three, two, one, last one. This time we're gonna go up and hold it at the top and then slowly bring the hips back down. Squeezing up at the top, so really squeezing those glutes. Slow back down. Squeezing the hips up at the top. Slow back down. Squeezing up at the top. Last one, squeezing up at the top. All right, we're going into those plank jacks for a minute here, so find whatever position you want for your plank jacks. Again, you can always step out in it instead. Finding some levity here. Really trying to relax the shoulder blades down your back. You can always do half of one on your forearms or half on your hands, up to you. Got an eyelash in my eye. Good, 30 seconds here. Trying to get that heart rate up a little bit. Breathing, 10 seconds left. Good, three, two, one. You're back on your back, second round here. Same thing. We're counting up for three, two, one, quickly down. So really pressing into those feet on the way up and then lowering. Three, two, one, and down. You can even pretend that the feet are pulling the mat apart. Last one, three, two, one. This time squeezing at the top and then slowly lowering those hips. Squeezing at the top, slowly lowering those hips. Squeezing at the top, slowly lowering the hips. We're getting ready to go in that second round of our plank jacks or plank steps. In three, two, one. Flipping over, maybe you wanna try it on your palms this time, maybe you wanna try it on your forearms. I like stepping out better on my forearms. So really trying to, to keep the pelvis stable here, so not letting the hips move side to side too much. The spine is staying neutral. You can always modify down to a knee plank if you need. Good, 20 seconds left here. Breathing. 
Maybe you want to add a couple jumps for the last couple seconds. Three, two, one. Relax. Grab some water if you need it. Um, I'll demonstrate our next set of exercises. So um, our strength exercise will be a one leg deadlift. Um, if you have a weight, you can use it for this. Um, so those hip bones are neutral here. You can start on your left foot and bring that right foot back. So for our first one, it will be three, two, one, fast lift up, three, two, one, fast lift up. The opposite will be down and then you're slowly, you're squeezing that glute on the way up, leaning forward, slowly. I will say one leg deadlifts, it's really control of your balance. So you, the, the three one counts may not work perfectly, in which case just do it at your normal pace. Don't worry too much about fast, slow, fast, slow. Um, and then your cardio exercise will be skaters. So you can tap behind, you can tap all the way down to the ground if you want. You can also, almost just fell. You can also just step behind if that feels better. Finding your level here. All right, let's do it. So we'll start on one leg. Starting in three, two, one. So we'll start with slow down. Three, two, one. Fast up. Oh yeah, I was gonna use weight. Um, you can also, I recommend trying to find a spot on the ground if that feels better. So we're, you're really trying to milk on that way down and then squeezing the glutes on that raise up. And then we'll switch to the other side for the next set of these. So you're on one leg for this whole minute. All right, opposite. So a little bit faster on the way down and then slow on the way up. Oh, it's raining here, Jesse. now. I think it hit me. All right, so a little bit faster on that way down, squeezing on the way up. My goal is to work on my balance. It's not going so well. All right, getting ready for those skaters in three, two, one. So again, picking your level here. So you can always just step behind if you don't want to touch the ground. You can always just have it be a step. Wherever you are, really trying to press off that bottom foot. Good. Halfway, 30 seconds. Wherever you are, trying to keep that spine in line, so not C-curving your spine if you're trying to touch the ground. Ten seconds. Good. Three, two, one. Right onto that other leg. Whew. All right. So we're back into that slow count down and one count left. Three, two, one, or whatever designated speed you've chosen. Really squeezing that glute. That is going to be the controller of your speed here. Don't let this um, exercise be quad dominant. All right, opposite down and hold, and then slow back up. Down and hold, slow back up here. Remember, you're trying to keep those hip points neutral the whole time. Down and hold. All right, getting ready for those skaters in three, two, one. One minute left here. Back into those skaters. Sometimes I like to add the arms in like I'm skiing. Final little cardio boost here. All 
All right, we're halfway, 30 seconds to go. Again, if that form's going, always take another level. You want to always modify or progress these however you want. Good, 15 seconds. Good, three, two, one, rest. Whew. All right, we are moving on to our next exercise, which is everyone's favorite, a push-up. So this is gonna be really hard because slowing down a push-up is quite difficult, and especially a down and hold is gonna be not easy. So take this recommended on your knees. If you want to do it on your toes, feel free to do it. Um, remember the wider those hands are, the easier it's going to be. So maybe you want to bring those hands a little bit wider than you normally would to make this a little bit easier. Um, your second exercise is jumping jacks. That's your cardio exercise. I think you all know how to do jumping jacks, but you can always modify, step in and out. You can do normal or you can do power jacks if you want that extra cardio boost. All right, so we're starting with a three count down and then one up. Again, similar with one leg deadlifts. If you're just doing push ups, just do them. Try to slow down a little bit on the way down. The world is your oyster. All right, ready, set, go. So that way down, you're aiming to slow down and then pressing more quickly on that way up. So playing around with the time under tension. Squeezing those shoulder blades together. All right, we're switching here. If you can, you're down and hold, and then slow back up. Down and hold, slow back up. You can always take rest for a second like I am. Down and hold, slow back up. Taking this at your own speed. All right, getting ready for those jumping jacks. In three, two, one, standing up here. So again, Pick your level, you can add in those power jacks if you want a little bit more explosion, or you can take that step out instead. Up to you. Those push-ups are killer. I don't have that arm strength yet. Good, 30 seconds. God, whatever level you want. We're finishing up 15 seconds. I hope you can hear me breathing really hard. <laughs> All right, if you have, and then you maybe you want to end with a couple power jacks. Three, two, one. We're right back into those push ups. So slow down. Fast back up. Take this at your own speed. So again, that shoulder girdle is the thing that's mobile here. The rest of your body is staying stable. Opposite, we're dropping down, slow back up. Dropping down. Slow back up. Final 15 seconds. Last time you're doing push ups. Five, four, three, two, one. Ending with those jumping jacks. 
and then we'll get a break, I promise. <laughs> You all look awesome. You can add a little fun if you want. You could do a crisscross instead. You can do whatever this is. Just have some fun with it. 30 seconds left. All right, final 15 seconds if you have it in you. You want to end with some power jacks. Final 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Oh, I might die. Who knows? All right, take a second, grab some water. We have Three more rounds. How are we feeling? We good? <laughs> All right, so next up, uh, we're going into a little bit of core. Um, we're gonna be doing leg lifts. So you can find your way on your back. You don't have to do it right now. Just watch me. You can put that diamond underneath your hips if that feels good. Your goal is just to keep that lower back on the ground. So. Same idea, so three, two, one, fast up, three, two, one. Opposite would be fast down, slow, back up. Um, and then your second exercise is squat taps. So option one is just your normal squats. Option two, you're adding a little jump in there for your squat taps. All right, coming to your leg lifts. Starting in three, two, one. So remember we're going slow, slow down, and then fast back up, slow, keeping that low back on the ground. Nice and controlled, fast back up. Pretending that low back is just glued onto the ground. It should really never be lifting up here. Three, two, one, fast up. Last one. We're switching to a down and hold. So hold the bottom, slow, back up. So time under tension here. The core is having to work extra hard. Down and hold. Good, 10 seconds left, down and hold, slow. Last time, down and hold. All right, standing up for those squat taps. Again, you can do your squats or you can add in that squat tap for a little extra cardio boost. Up to you, world is your oyster. Oh, I'm sweaty. You can see it on the mat. So if you're doing the squat taps, making sure the hip hinge is going back. So those glutes are the ones that are really doing the work here. Core is braced. That back is in C curving as you try to touch the ground. 15 seconds to go. All right, getting ready for that second round of leg lifts in three, two, one, laying down. All right, slow down, fast, back up, slow down, fast, back up. Everyone's range of motion is going to be a little bit different on this, depending on your core strength and as well as your hip flexor mobility. All right, switching it up, down and hold, slow, back up, down and hold, slow, back 
up on the way up. See if you can squeeze those glutes together for a little bit of assistance. All right, three, two, one. Final round of those squat taps. Again, you can always take the squats. Option is yours. Take whatever works best for you here. All right, halfway, 30 seconds to go, and then you'll get that recovery. You all look awesome. Last little push here. Final 15 seconds. If you wanna end with just some squat jumps to end with a bang. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job. All right. We have two rounds left. Um, we're continuing with our core trend here. We're doing side plank drives. So a couple different options. In fact, there's like 50 different options. So let's see. Um, so option one is to come on your forearm. You can stack those feet, you can stagger, or you can bend that bottom knee. Your ultimate goal is to do a side knee drive, so elbow into knee. Um, you can also do that on your hands, so do a side plank on your hands. Same movement here. You can also stack the feet and do it here, whatever works best for you. Same thing, three, two, one, one, three, one. That didn't make sense, but you know what I mean. Um, and then our cardio is skateboarders. So again, you can just find squats again. You can find maybe a different variation of squats if you just wanna do squats, or if you wanna do skateboarders, you'll face one direction. And jump back and forth again. I guess you could also pivot and squat, pivot and squat instead too. So find whatever works best there for you, um, whatever feels magic. All right, finding that side plank wherever you wanna be. Let me get my timer up. All right, starting in three, two, one, so you're starting with that three, two, one, and then extending out. Three, two, one, extend. Three, two, one. So you're kind of working a crunch that whole time. There's never really a rest point here. And don't worry about actually touching your knee and your elbow. Really just see it as far as that hip hinge allows you. All right, opposite, you're holding and then slowly extending out. Holding in, extending out, extending out, squeezing in, extending out. Last couple here. Three, two, one. You're standing up. Again, you can do a pivot and squat. You can do that full jump around. You can also just do a little mini version at the front if you want, picking your level here. I'm literally like drip and sweat here. Good halfway. Final 15 seconds.
Good. Three, two, one. We're going to the other side for those side plank drives. So starting with that slow in, quick extension out, slow in, quick extension out. Trying to lift up that hip so you're feeling that bottom oblique really engaging here. All right, opposite, you're holding in and then slowly extending out. Holding in, slowly extending out. Fifteen seconds left. Last one, hold in, slow extension out. We're standing up, coming into our skateboarders or our squats, whatever version we want here. And keeping that core tucked in, Back is staying flat, glutes are engaged. So remember your options, you can step and squat. You can also just do a squat, whatever you're feeling. Less than 30 seconds. Final little push. I know those legs are tired. You got this. A couple more. Three, two, one. Relax. All right. We are on that final round. So first exercise is a lunge. We all know how to do a lunge, I think. So you're back in that static lunge. Three, two, one. One and lift, or down and hold, slow lift up. Um, you'll stay in a static lunge, like a staggered lunge for the whole time. And then super fun cardio exercise inspired by Jesse um, is going to be shadow boxing. So you can really do whatever kind of boxing you want here. You can jump those feet to side to side. You can just add some punches, just play around with it. You can see I'm not a punch master, but just get that body moving. You can find a stance, you can switch. World's your oyster. All right, starting with those lunges. So step whatever, whatever foot back you want here. Three, two, one. So we're going three, two, one, and lift. Three, two, one. So those knees are dropping. That back knee is dropping straight down and those glutes are really your controllers here. Three, two, one. The hips are tucked. The ribs are not splaying. Three, two, one. Again, this is your own pace. You don't have to listen to me. All right, we're switching down and hold. Slow back up. Down and hold. Slow back up, down and hold, slow, back up, feeling that back glute working, maybe the quads too, down and hold, last one here, three, two, one, we're into our shadow boxing, so finding, maybe getting out some of that energy, you can really see that I'm I'm not a boxing master, but just work on moving that body. So getting some movement into the limbs. Maybe you want to pivot. Good, 30 seconds left. You can look as silly as you want. No one will ever see this. They'll only see me which kind of makes this worse, but that's okay. Whew. 
All right, 15 seconds left. Good, five, four, three, two, one. Going to that other leg is back. We're back into our three, two, one, and lift. So slow on the way down, squeezing back up. See if you can keep that pelvis even here. Sometimes I like to keep my hands on my hips and find those hip bones. I find that in exercise, we don't touch our body enough and I find that really helps me find where the different alignment is in my body. All right, down and hold. Slow extension up, down and hold. Dropping that back knee straight down, squeezing back up. 10 seconds left. Good, three, two, one, let's go. One minute, punch it out, shadow boxing. Woo, 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 woo. Sorry, that was weird, all right. Getting out some of that feelings, whatever you're feeling here. Trying to use up that last little burst of energy. 30 seconds left here. This is gonna be your last burst of cardio today. Fifteen seconds left. What do you have left? Last little burst. Good. Three, two, one. Nice job. Ooh, I look like a cockatoo. Um, all right. Take a second. We're gonna finish as I promised in my Instagram post. Hopefully you read it because you're gonna do this regardless. Um, so this summer is the summer of planks. Therefore, today we're all gonna set our baseline plank. So we're gonna do a plank to failure. So fun. Um, Anna loves them. Uh, so I'm gonna be doing it with you. Um, I, you can time yourself if you want, but I'll also be timing and I'll read off at 30 second intervals. Um, so again, this doesn't have to be, this is just your baseline. So don't worry if it's 30 seconds, don't worry if it's 10, well, probably don't make it 10 minutes because that's gonna be a really rough summer if that's your baseline. Um, but throughout the summer, we're gonna work on it and we're gonna get that plank time up. So find yourself in a plank position. You can see my, all right, we're moving that. So you can do this on your forearms, you can do this on your palms. Those elbows are right under your shoulders. All right, I did two and a half last night. I'm not aiming for that. All right, ready, set, go. As soon as you finish, um, you can just start stretching and then we'll meet you whenever we get there. So those toes are tucked. The body is flat here. Um, I'll tell you at 30 seconds at a minute and so on. I really recommend trying to distract yourself with something. All right, you are 30 seconds in here. Breathing. Good. All right, you are one minute in. Whenever you touch out, feel free to find some stretches and I'll meet you there. Whenever I fit, well, whenever the last of you finishes, I will also end. Stretch for a bit. Uh. 
good. One and a half. Isabel, how are you doing? <laughs> uh, I feel so slippery. All right, two minutes in. Isabel, you're killing it. I don't know how, I don't know how much longer I can do this. <laughs> All right, two and a half. Oh my God, I still have to go. Okay. Whew. Okay, nice job, everyone. We're gonna find a couple stretches and then we'll be done. Um, you can first find yourself on your back. We'll do a quick figure four stretch. So crossing that top foot over. Again, you can stay here if this feels like enough. You can hug that leg in if that feels good. You can also just use the strength of your glute to press that knee back and open up your glute. Similar with those leg lifts, even though you're hugging that knee and you still want that lower back to stay on the ground. Good, switch to that other leg, crossing your left leg over. If this feels good, stay here, or you can press that knee back. I am pooped. Good, you can drop. So bring those knees up to 90, dropping them over to one side. You can bring those arms to cactus. It's got a nice little spinal twist here. Hopefully my butt's not too sweaty. All right, switching over to the other side, dropping those knees and cactus the other way. Back into the middle, we'll roll up into a seat. You can bring those arms up into um, a goal post and just come to some thoracic twists. So sometimes our thoracic spine gets really gluey and we want to try to unhinge it a little bit here. So you're sliding the shoulder blades around the ribs and then bring those arms to the front and you're just going to open up and back. So pressing the shoulders back like there's a wall behind you that you're trying to press. And then you can bring those hands together. Without straightening them, you can keep them bent. And then here, really try to press back with the shoulder blades. And then if it feels good, you can start to straighten in them, but don't do it at the cost of your shoulders. So if they feel a little twingy, keep those elbows bent back instead. And rather than trying to split your ribs, see if you can tuck your ribs here. Um, that helps protect your lower back too. Good. You can press your hands on your knees and we're just going to do a little rolling with the spine. So really keep it, try to keep it a little bit protected here. So never arching it too much. If something feels good, you can try to stay there for a second or you can keep doing those circles. I know I look funny. Good. All right. We'll finish with an oblique stretch. So just play. This is like my favorite stretch ever. Placing that right hand down, reaching that left arm over. So getting that stretch in your side. Again, same thing here, trying to keep those ribs, ribs tucked. If it feels good, you can also add in some arm circles. Oh. Good, other side, reaching that right arm over. You can add those circles if you want. Good. 
Good, and just finish with some big shoulder rolls all the way around, switching directions. Whew. All right, good job, friends. Um, I'm gonna stop recording this.